Goku forgiving Raditz is looked at as not only one of the biggest mistakes in Dragon Ball history, but one of the biggest mistakes in anime history. So Raditz pretty much shows up terrorizing the earth and ultimately this leads into a showdown between him, Piccolo and Goku. Now during this fight there's a point when Goku catches Raditz off guard and catches his tail. Now it is at this point that Raditz is at a huge disadvantage and so he decides to lie to Goku. He tells him that he didn't mean everything that he said prior to this point, he wasn't really going to kidnap Gohan and he really wasn't going to force him to come with him. He was just going to test him to see if he could actually convince him to join him with the other Saiyans in the fight that they were gonna have. Now Goku ultimately believes Raditz, lets him go and gets wailed in the face by his brother. I mean that punch really does look like it hurt. Now the thing is is that people really look down at Goku in this moment thinking that he is just extremely gullible and they don't believe how he could have fell for this. Especially since Raditz before this smacked the crap out of Goku's friend. Dang, Krillin can't catch a break. And also kidnapped Goku's own son. But I think that a lot of people that look at this event don't remember and don't take into account the fact that Goku has met his family for the first time. Like you gotta think about this, Raditz ultimately is Goku's brother. This is an opportunity for him not only to connect with family but to learn about his origins and where he comes from. And I think that if we look at it from that perspective, we can understand a bit why Goku was so willing to believe what his brother said. Because ultimately at heart, we don't want anyone that we love or our family members to be evil. Even though Raditz ultimately betrayed Goku, I don't blame him for wanting to believe his brother. Now the Bible also talks about forgiveness and there is this one verse that I want to share with you that makes most people uneasy. Now it says in Matthew 6, 14 and 15, If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. So I think reading verse 14, it kind of makes sense. Hey, if I forgive others, God will forgive me. But the scary part is in verse 15 where it says that if you don't forgive others, then God is also not going to forgive you. Now this is a shocker for a lot of people because most of us have been told in church that if we come to God and ask for forgiveness, he will forgive us. But in this case, this verse is clearly saying that if you do not forgive others, he is not going to forgive you. Now this verse comes off very scary and I want to take the time to explain to you what this really means. The question is, will God really look at my attitude for not forgiving others and not forgive me? The answer to that is yes. Now firstly, I think it's very simple for us to all understand that we're all called to forgive. So what is this verse teaching us? Well, the thing about forgiveness is that ultimately when we come to God and ask for forgiveness, it has to come from a contrite heart. It has to come from a repentant heart, meaning that we are regretful for the actions that we've made. And the question that you need to ask yourself is, are you truly understanding your sins and your mistakes and really being repentful from what you've done if you're not able to forgive others? And the answer according to this text is no. If you're not willing to forgive others, it is unlikely that you yourself are truly repentant of what you've really done. If we're not forgiving others, then we ourselves are not truly understanding how much forgiveness we actually need from God. Now one thing that I want to make clear here is that this is not talking about salvation. This is not saying that God is going to take back the forgiveness that he's offered to us when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. This is talking about the attitude that we have when we sin and we come before God asking for forgiveness for the things that we are doing wrong. And as the Bible teaches us, we need constant forgiveness from God because we're not perfect. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe below and share this video with other people. Please help us grow this channel. And as always, I just want to remind you that we must persevere.